Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you my TARDIS Minecraft updated. Today I'm going to show you the TARDIS, but the TARDIS is finished now, it's done. I've built everything, no, well, not every Doctor Who thing ever, but I've built a lot of things. I'm going to go to a spawn and I'm going to show you everything. Okay, here we go. Um, here is Spawn. It's a bit um, weird, I know, but I think it looks pretty cool. You can see sort of the maps I'm using to build the TARDIS here. I'm using maps. Uh, I'm not using any texture packs or mods or anything. I'm just using maps. Um, so I'm going to jump down here and I can choose custom TARDIS. Uh, well, that was an accident. Sorry. Um, Uh, you can choose custom TARDIS, uh, 80s TARDIS, 60s TARDIS. So I'm gonna choose 60s TARDIS for those of you who haven't seen that. And I have updated some of the planets. I've updated the, the wet planet a little bit. I have uh, built some Sabis. So, uh, you know. Tartus Lane from an unearthed child. Slash remembrance of the Daleks. Well, this is mostly an unearthly child ish. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's based on the an unearthly child, Thomas Lane. We can go inside the TARDIS. You know? Uh, here is the 60s console room from first, second, first and second Doctor. Uh, Eras, but. This is also kind of the 70s TARDIS because the TARDIS didn't really change much. I mean, it changed a little bit, but you know, it's the same thing. So I didn't want to build a new TARDIS for the same thing, really. You can walk into this room. Uh, it's sort of the back room thing from the 60s TARDIS. And it's this room isn't entirely accurate, but it's pretty good. And there's a bit of a continuity reference here, because if I activate this machine, I'll get meat. I mean, it's red. It's a reference to the Daleks, the first Dalek story ever. I have seen that because they eat bacon and bread, bread that tastes just like bacon. So, just a nice little reference. All right, the second planet is well, it's on a planet it's a space station. Nerva Beacon from Revenge of the Cybermen. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna show you what's in here because you can explore this for yourself when you download the map. So, uh, yeah. Voga, the planet of gold from Revenge of the Cybermen. I'm not gonna show you anything else in this place because you can explore it for yourself. I don't wanna spoil the map. And of course, Khan. Uh, from well, this is kind of. I mean, I know this is a 60s, 70s TARDIS, but this comes actually most. It's kind of based on the Night of the Doctor. But Khan was in the six, uh, sorry, 70s in the Brain of Morbius, one of the best stories ever. Uh, you know, and then I've made a sister from the Sisterhood of Khan. Well, it's an invisible silverfish. Oh, it's an Armstrong riding an invisible silver fish. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the charts and the web planets. Uh, I built a couple of Sardis here. You can see it's just two blocks of wool and some, you know, fence gates. I think it looks pretty cool, you know. I mean, don't watch the web planet. I will leave a link to all of the stories from uh, my TARDIS in the description below. You can click on it, and I will also leave a download link in the description below. You can download the map, and you can watch all these stories. Don't watch the web print. I'm gonna leave it so you can download it, but don't watch it. It's the, not, not the worst, one of the worst Doctor Who stories ever. It's really bad. I mean, the plot of it is basically, well, basically this story is some weird ant, giant ants walking around on a planet that 
looks pretty cool. That's it. And they sound like guinea pigs. But, uh, okay, that's it for the 60s types. Well, not quite. There's a couple of Easter eggs, but it's Easter eggs, so I'm not going to show it to you. But you can explore and find the Easter eggs yourself. I've built a couple of these types. I've built two, I think. Uh, they aren't all inside the types. I'm not going to I'm not gonna tell you where they are. So I'm going to go back to spawn. Here we go. And the thing you have all wanted to see. The 80s TARDIS. Updated. So this is basically the 80s TARDIS. The complete version. So who wants to have the 80s TARDIS? And yes, I know these are supposed to be yellow. I just didn't bother to build another map. Uh, and that's a bug. That can happen sometimes. It's just a bug. Don't don't mind it. It's just a bug. It will disappear in a moment. Those glitchy things. Okay, three places. You have already seen Telos or the Sidemen's tombs on Telos from Attack of the Sidemen. But I'm gonna show it to you again. Well, sorry, wrong button. This is the greatest show in the galaxy thing from the Seventh Doctor Story, the greatest show in the galaxy. Uh, and you can see this ticket, uh, ticket person. Uh, this looks pretty accurate from the thing I'm, you see on the screens. Yeah, we're walking here. This is sort of the main room. It's a bit inaccurate, but I built this in a kind of a rush because I wanted tiles to be done as quickly as possible. But it's pretty accurate. It's not quite accurate, but it's uh, it's good enough. I think it's good enough. It looks. You can see what it is, and it looks all right. And there's uh, the other room, the room for the people. Right. Uh, I, I'm not going to show you the room because, you know, you can explore it for yourself. I'm going to leave some things sort of. I'm not going to tell you what is inside some rooms because, you know, what's the fun in downloading the map then? Alright. The last. Well, not the last. Alright, here we go. This is the Sheeta planet from Survival. This is also built a bit in a rush, but I think it's pretty good. You know, it's the camp from of the, the Sheeta's camp, so you can see mountain the background. You know, that thing. It looks like the pen from Survival, the last Doctor Who story from the classic series ever. And there's this place, you know, where the Doctor and the Master fights each other. And, you know, the Doctor says, loves of conic lines. You know, if we fight like animals, we die like animals! You know, those lines. If you have watched Survival, it's, yeah, it's some pretty cool lines. Uh, and there's a lot of skulls because, you know, there's an awful lot of skulls and bones and stuff like that in the actual story. And the last place, you have already seen this place, but I'm gonna show it to you again because, you know, it's Telos. The silent tombs on Telos. And this is kind of smoke. To sort of show you that it's so cold that it smokes because it's very f sort of cold in here and i've built this very closely to the actual thing uh, and you know there's some things you can walk into there well you can't actually walk in there but you know i think it's lovely this place i think it, this is probably my favorite planet in this tardis i've built uh you know i'm really happy how this turned out. Really happy. I used an awful long time building this, but you know, it looks really nice. Really nice, actually. And that's it. That's the TARDIS. There's an awful lot of Easter eggs. Not, not an awful lot, but there's a couple of Easter eggs you can find. That's it for me. Uh, I will leave a link to all the stories where the planets are featured in the description below. I will leave a download to this map in the description below. And, um, yeah, that's it for me this time. See you all next time for another video next week. See you, then, uh, see you guys next week for another video or sometime soon. Goodbye.